Welcome to the New Commission's Artist Talk series for the new site-specific artworks. Sponsored by the Houston Airport System at George Bush Intercontinental Airport and Houston Hobby Airport on behalf of the City of Houston's Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs. Hosted by Houston Arts Alliance Director of Civic Art and Design, Grace Zuniga. Please help me welcome Cruz Ortiz. Hi everybody, I'm Cruz Ortiz. I'm an artist based here in Texas and uh, I'm really excited about talking about uh, the new project at Hobby Airports. And I'm also joining on this call with my amazing team, uh, Olivia Ortiz and Sierra Ortiz. Thank you for being here today. Um, can you describe your piece? So we actually worked on a really nice project uh, for the Houston Airport um, and working actually a lot with different groups uh, to get this essential huge painting, um, oil painting that we had created based on a couple of things that I've been working on in the past. Um, one of them is just landscape painting. Uh, the importance of landscape painting is pretty you know, critical to the work that I'm doing um, in and out, out of the studio. So th those are the things that for me, I really wanted to like make sure that we, you know, as a um, public art, you know, initiative to somehow you know, give, you know, voice or even create the image of something that relates back to the land that the airport is actually on. Um, the land that, uh, that, you know, Houston, it's called Houston now, but before it was, you know, the land that belonged to the Karankawa and the Akio Sosis. So those tribes um, and specifically different smaller bands um, would, you know, literally live off that land in the coast um, all the way from She's probably Tamaulipas in Mexico, all the way through, uh, you know, some parts of Louisiana. And so for me, it was really important to acknowledge that. And so what that entailed was me literally going out the surrounding native lands that still exist um, as nature uh, <clears throat> preserves. And so that was all the state parks and the national parks like Sam Houston. Um, it was really exciting to go and spend time, you know, literally being, uh, you know, in the landscape that surrounded Texas. And you really, I mean, around Houston, you got to see, like, what the native land of Houston actually looked like before you know, the development. One of the things that was really important to me was to somehow reflect the people of that land. And there's a big, huge misconception that the Karankawa are disappeared. Well, they did not disappear. <laughs> They're still here. And there's a situation why that myth was even created. And I think for me, that's what I wanted to start, you know, with uh, landscape and also focus on the people. So I actually uh, was very fortunate to meet and, you know, do some time with uh, Chiara, who's uh, a descendant of the Karankawa people that lives in Texas still, uh, and her whole family as well. And it was really insightful to get to know her and to you know, find out more about, you know, her people and their struggle to maintain uh, native territory, to uh, create and engage in the effort to get some of that land back. Um, so for me, I, I really wanted to like focus on, you know, just maybe just painting her. I thought it would be very appropriate to incorporate the image of her as this, you know, stable, still, you know, a very thoughtful person that uh, is representing of the future of the Karankawas. So I, I was really honored to, you know, sit down with her and, you know, did several drawings of her. We did live sketches. I really didn't want to use photography on this because I think there's something special about um, being in front of something and drawing from direct observation, just like I do with the plein air paintings of, and drawings of the, the landscape. So. Equally so, I wanted to do that with her as well. So with those drawings, you know, after several months of, you know, compiling all these drawings, uh, we started to paint and we did create an image where it was like, there's like actually a diptych um, where it's one side on the right side is the um, joined two canvases of uh, the landscape. And that's actually Galveston State Park. Um, and I kind of incorporated some other stuff from other parts of the territories around Houston. And on the left side, 
it is is Chiara. She's actually sitting on a bench uh, in Austin. I met her in Austin, uh, and so I drew her. So I wanted to like create this whole like different idea of how we understand uh, portraiture, and to incorporate more the cosmicness of of a person, the cosmic sense of a place, and those are things that are very you know uh, apparent and and ha have a strong presence in, in native understanding, uh, non, you know, Western ideology, you know, doesn't separate cosmos from, you know, I guess what we call reality. It's really like almost devouring modernism, uh, how, how modernism and French painters and, you know, how they developed on their understandings of color and, and representation. Well, I wanted to use that, like literally, devour that idea and to make something that was new, that had more of a, a mescla, like a mix of between, uh, between Europe and, and the native, you know, territories of, of Turtle Island, of this area. You know, I, the more I think about it, it is a portrait of her, but they're really, it's a portrait of the landscape too. It's not landscape painting. I'm looking at the land as an entity. Mm -hmm. So, um, a lot of times I, I, the more I look at it, even when I go back or when I look at photos, it, it becomes more apparent that it's really, you know, a, a diptych of, of two different entities, life forms. So. so two follow-up questions to what you just discussed, um, because there's three large panels, um, two of them are hanging side by side, and then there's kind of a gap in the middle, and um, she's on the left-hand side. Um, was that, that choice, was it specific, um, was it significant to the painting itself? Was it in response to the architecture? Cause there is that giant beam, um, yeah. and so, curious, curious about like how you responded to the space, um, and the way that you hung it. And then, um, also if you could dive into the iconography of the painting, there, there are like these orbs within the landscape. Um, I noticed an egret. Um, and so I'm curious if you could discuss the symbolism within the work as well. For me, you know, one of those things is that when I go to a public art project, um, I really look at everything, you know, from, from uh, the limitations of architecture um, or the, you know, opportunities because of architecture. Uh, I also like, even before I even, did anything i did several visits you know to the airport and i literally got my camera and i was just walking around and i think i sat in like every section of seats at the airport and looking at that wall because i know what it's like to be stuck at an airport <laughs> where you're there and you're just like uh like and you're more on your phone right and just trying to look for a charger and you know quick coffee or something but for me i wanted to like challenge that by trying to see and let's just make something really big and looking at that there was that column that was in the middle so originally i wanted to do just the landscape um but you know that's that's what happens you know it's allowing yourself to to change with the environment to change with what you're finding and so as i was doing more research about the land then that's when i started researching more about the people um, and so then that's when I was like, oh, you know what? Let's just split this up. So the response was to not only the land and the significance, but to the arts culture here in Houston. Correct. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, um, I mean, artwork's always got to connect to people. I, you know, and there's an always, there, actually, there's no rules to that. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's important. I think um, I, I always find it uh, interesting and that that becomes a whole thematic, you know, conceptual, you know, development of how how we go about making images. But for me, being at the Houston Airport, uh, you know, it's a very public place. This is, you know, thousands of people go through there, and you know, and I thought for me, this is super amazing and a great opportunity to like really talk about Houston in a different way that people really don't talk about. Her, I, I wanted her to be chill, you know, like a lot of the Native American imagery we see is like, you know, very warrior stance. Or, I wanted something more where she's like in a meditative state where, yeah. you know, her people, are, yeah, her people have been through a lot. 
um, you're going through it right now, like literally right now. It's like pausing, it's taking time, thinking, contemplating, like you said, um, making sure what's what's the next move. How do we, how do we, you know, uh, not preserve culture, and that's something I've been working on recently. But the idea of maintaining culture, um, that's so important to be able to do that, and that's that's what the pose you see. It's a very you know, very chill and thought thought provoking and for me that was really important and she's so nice and so calm and very a lot of power in her presence she's just an amazing person and i was really honored to work with her and also in the landscape like i also put uh these suns and that's something like mm -hmm. i i've been doing in my work a, a lot where it represents uh multiple suns you know series of days um and that's something that I I got from painting plein air painting when, you know, when I, I'm painting something, I'm not painting a still object. <laughs> I mean, the landscape is constantly moving. Like mm -hmm. the way I started out a painting, you know, 30 minutes later, it's completely a different thing I'm looking at. So I wanted to somehow trend, you know, transfer that kind of energy and by doing that you know it's like this time lapse of different suns and of different situations or or the changing of light uh in a landscape i mean it's very just coding it that way to where these landscapes are not just still objects so the orbs in the painting are their suns um and the different colors represent different times or different like spaces or yeah i mean and they also do correlate i mean something um that i found <laughs> as i was painting because like the black moon is really like a new moon um the orange moon is more like a sun or you know a sunrise or sunset uh the white is more of a midday so but then it turns out like those are literally the colors of like a lot of the native american iconography during the 70s of uh the american indian movement um so i thought that was kind of neat that that tied into that as well um yeah i mean there's all kinds of there's even this really cool um amazing uh white bird uh on the left side of the landscape um that was actually real like i was at i was at Gal galveston state park and now galveston park there's, there's kind of like big trees in different places um this tree had a uh, a really large uh, uh, bird. I was just like, whoa, I looked up and I was like, oh my God, it was just staring in front of me. Um, but it was like right in the middle of this big, you know, shadowed uh, green tree, uh, oak, I think. Uh, so it was really, you know, profound for me. I, I thought it was more of a, you know, like a symbol of doing something right kind of thing. Um, so I thought that was really neat to see that. Um, that this white bird was just, like, just still, still there, you know, might, might've been a migratory bird. Um, I'm not sure, but it was really, really neat to, you know, experience that. And, you know, I'm a big fan of research. And so that's, you know, when you're looking at that painting, it's a very thoughtful process. Um, it, it's things that, you know, I take very seriously. Um, so for me, I wanted to include those little things, you know, that I got to experience, um, I travel i want to know where i'm at you know where uh where are the cool places you know what tell me more about this place the beauty of art is to to like let's let's address some stuff let's talk about things let's let's start a conversation uh what would it be like to you know if people knew houston as as a different you know identity um my studio was really excited about working on this i think just you know acknowledging the labor that went behind this it wasn't just me <laughs> it was uh definitely olivia uh and you know joaquin at the studio and then um willie my fabricator in houston and of course you know transport team and, and plus the whole team at the airport uh and of course ata so it's just been really tremendous working with you know people that um are willing to work with artists and on a level that's really nice. And of course, the mayor's office 
but I just want to acknowledge that, like that the idea of it, it does take a team to make these things. And um, so it's just something really special. Mm-hmm.